Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Crack Mathematics. So today lesson 4 we are going to cover uh, number compression. So we are going to learn how to uh, compare uh, two numbers and how to order a set of numbers. So let's start the lesson. So uh, before we uh, start comparing numbers, so let's talk about uh, the tools. So we are going to give you an introduction about the tools that we use to compare number which are uh, comparison signs. So we're going to talk about the comparison sign. So I will give you a brief introduction to comparison sign because we are going to see uh, comparison sign in detail in the future lesson. So let's uh, first give a definition of comparison sign. What is the comparison sign? Uh, definition. So let me write down definition here. So comparison sign are uh, symbol that are used to compare two quantities. Exactly what is uh, comparison sign? So comparison sign. symbol that are used to to compare the quantities and uh, there are uh, three uh, different comparison sign. So there are three comparison sign. So the first one called equal sign and it look like we have two little bar one above the other and it's read equal to the second one it's called less sign and it's have an opening to the right so it's read less than and the third one a greater sign so this one is open into the left and it's read greater than greater We have optional sign, so but we're not going to talk about them now. But I will let you know those option those options opt optional sign. Sorry, so we have this sign, which is combination of those two, and we have that sign. Those are the two optional sign, which is combination of those two. So that's uh, that's those are just optional sign. So when we talk about comparison sign in detail, we're gonna talk about those two, two. So let's uh, give a brief definition of each one and uh, let's start with uh, equal sign. So what is uh, equal sign? Equal sign is uh, a symbol that compared to identical quantity. So this is just a disc uh, brief description about equal sign. So equal sign is a symbol that compare to identical quantity. So 
coded, it must be identical in order for us to use uh, equal sign. So, for example, uh, let me give you an example. Then I will show you how to check if the two, uh, two, quant two numbers are equal or not. So, example. So, uh, 4 is equal to 4. So, just a simple example. So, how to check if two numbers are uh, equal or not? So, this is what we're going to do right now. So, equality of two numbers. Of two numbers. So, uh, two numbers are equal if their corresponding this value digits are identical. So this is how to check if two numbers are equal or not. So two number two numbers are equal if they are corresponding value digit are identical so if I want to check if those two numbers are equal so what I need to do here so for example here if I have uh, 483 .12 and 20. So what you do here, I need to check the corresponding place value. What do I mean by the corresponding place value? So the identical place value. So the digits of the identical place value. So I'm looking for <coughs> 100. I have 4 in 100 place here. So I'm going to check if I have 4 in 100 place here. Yes, they are equal. So then I check the 10. They are equal. Then I will check next the ones. They are equal. So I keep checking. Here I will check next the tenth. They are equal. Then I will check the hundred. They are equal. But here I have a zero. So we know that after uh, any number in the digit uh, in the in the fractional power, we can put as much zero you want. Or you can eliminate as much as you want as long as there is no uh, distinct zero digit uh, on on their side. So uh, this it's either it's useless, or you can add a zero here. It's, it's the same thing. So my point here is, what did we what did we find out that the place value digits are identical. So the corresponding one are identical. So that means this. Uh, those two numbers are equal. So the corresponding place value must be identical. The hundred in the first one must be the same as the hundred on the second one. The ten on the first one must be the same as the ten on the second one. And the ones on the first one must be the same as the ones on the second one. The tenth must be the same as on the second one. And the hundred must be the same as the second one. So then I can conclude that those two numbers are equal. So this is how we uh, compare uh, two uh, number or how to check if two number are equal or not. So you see, we just use place value here. Now let's talk about uh, less and greater sign uh, together because they share uh, the same definition so less and greater sign so uh, less and greater sign are sign or symbol that uh, compare to distinct quantity so if the quantity are not identical that means they are distinct so we use those uh, one of those two sign so less and greater 
fine. Are symbols. Let's compare. Distinct quantity. So if the quantity are not the same, so we use one of those uh, to sign. We use the left. Uh, we use the sign. So uh, so when the uh, right quantity is bigger than the left one so this is when we use the less sign so less sign is used is used when the right quantity is bigger than the left one For example, so we have three five. So I can say three is less than five. So and uh, greater sign is used when the left quantity is bigger than the right one. So is used. when the left quantity and the left quantity is bigger than the right one one is bigger than the right one so for example I will use the same number let me okay go let me pick different number of these wrong confused student so here we have seven is greater than four so this is how we use those two uh, sign now we can learn how to compare uh, two distinct number is the same concept we use for equal and you can see it right now and uh, which we are going to do it in uh, two steps so first we're going to talk about how to compare positive number so uh, positive number and the second steps we're going to talk about how to compare negative number So, uh, to compare uh, positive number, so what we do, we check the corresponding place value uh, for all the corresponding place value digit uh, from left to right and look for the first two distinct uh, digits. So, I compare from left to right and I check the first two distinct digits the first one I meet are distinct so then I will conclude which one is bigger which one is smaller and I will decide which sign I will pick so let me give you an example then I will give you a brief description how to uh, how to use it so for example so if I want to compare uh, three and for example so uh, here I check you see I start from left to right so I start always from left to right and I keep checking one by one so I will check the corresponding 
base value digits. So I will check this digit with this one. So they are equal. So then I move on to the next uh, one. So I will check this one with that one, the corresponding one. Always I the same place value digit, uh, the same uh, uh, place value. I check their digit. So the same place value. I check their digits. I check the hundred with the hundred, the ten with the ten, the one the one. If I have a thousand, I will check the thousand with a thousand and so on. And here I have, uh, for example, uh, here we have one the one are equal. So I have again, I keep moving and checking here, the 10 with the 10 are equal. And I keep moving again, I go to the 100th and the 100, and here I see that the 100 is greater than that one. So which means that number is greater. Then I will pick the greater sign. You see? Because this one is greater, I will pick the greater, the greater sign. So if you have, an ex if I have for example, uh, For example, those two number. I want to compare those two number. I start with the corresponding place value. So this is a thousand, and I will look for the thousand here. There's no thousand here. That's mean I have a zero. If I have no thousand, that's mean I have a zero. So which means that two is greater than zero. So I need to go further. So this is the two first distinct digit. So with the corresponding place value, that's mean that number is greater. So I don't need to go further. So this is the second example. So as you see, you get, I believe, the idea how to uh, compare two distinct uh, uh, numbers. So let me give you a brief description in, in Word. So in that case, I will stay in your notes. So to compare numbers and here we're talking about positive number so we check the corresponding place value digits right don't do it from right to left it's, uh, it's not going to give you the right answer from left uh, to right and look for the first two distinct and look for the first two distinct digits greater the digit is, so the greater is the number, so that's the idea, so the greater, so here when you check that this one is greater than one, that means that number is greater, so the greater is a digit, the greater the number is, so the greater the digit greater is the number. And uh, less the less digit, uh, the less is the number. The less the digit, or the less is the digit. Here the greater is the digit, less is the digit. the less is the number.
So the greater is the digit, the greater is the number. That's mean if the digit is greater, that's mean the number is greater. So here we check all of them, but we find out that number is greater than that digit is greater than that one. That's mean if that this one is greater than that one, that's mean that number is greater. Because the rest are all equal. So this one decide which number is uh, greater. So this is a brief description how to uh, compare to positive number. This is only for positive number. For negative number is different, so we'll see it soon. So uh, I hope you got the idea here. So let's uh, uh, move on uh, to the next uh, part on this uh, first uh, section is how to order a uh, positive number. To order number we just going to use the comparing concept we just did now. So how to order number so to order a number set or to order a set of number uh, what we need to use the same concept we just compare the corresponding place value digits uh, of order number and uh, we pick the one that uh, uh, we need based on the question they ask either um, we are going to order from least to greatest or from greatest to least so based on the question so we pick the right number based on the comparison concept we just uh, did uh, when we compare two numbers so that's that's the same the same idea we use to order number so let me write down this here so to uh, order set of number so we compare the corresponding this value digits the number of course from left to right and uh, based on the question so uh, you pick uh, the number that uh, that satisfy in the question so uh, let me give you an example, so in that case you will see the idea because this is not clear with uh, that statement uh, okay, so, let's, uh, so if I want to order from least to greatest order from least to greatest, so suppose I have this set of number I want to order from this to get it so I have three one four point five I have three oh nine point two I have uh, two one seven and uh, two one nine point nine for example I just pick four it can be five can be any uh, can be any set of number so uh, here, like I say, we are going to uh, compare the corresponding place value of all the number from left to right. So I will compare the place value, the corresponding one. So I'm going to start with the 100. So I have 100 here, 100 here, 100 here, and 100 here. So this is 3, 3, 2, 2. See, so they ask me from least to greatest. So I'm going to pick the smallest. So I have two smallest because those this is 3 and this is 3. This is 2, 2. 2 is smallest than so I'm going to start with the 2 then I'm going to move to the next with those two I'm going to move to the next uh, digit so 1 1 they are equal here we have 7 this is 9 that's mean this is smallest so this is going to be the first uh, uh, answer so it's going to be 2 1 7 and because uh, I have only 2 that's mean this one should be the second 
so if I have a third one here so I will check those two together but I have only that one so we just write it down here so I'm done with those two now I'm gonna go to those two here so here we have three that's mean this one are equal so I'm gonna go to the tenth this is one this is zero that's mean this one is smaller this is bigger so that's mean here is gonna be 309 and this is 314.5 so then this is the order from least to greatest so as you see here we just use the concept of uh, comparing uh, place value so that's that that's exactly what what we did so uh, if I want to order this one from greatest to least I do the same idea so I start with the 100 place value so I pick the greatest 100 then I compile them together then I will pick from them the, the highest one and I keep uh, I keep uh, comparing till I'm done with my my set so this is how we uh, order uh, a set of numbers for the second steps how to uh, compare and order negative number so we're not we are not going to do it today so till we uh, learn the negative number and then we will uh, teach you how to compare and order negative number I hope you understand what we uh, cover today so uh, please uh, if you have any comment about the lesson or any anything that will help me improve my way of teaching or presenting so please do so it will help me a lot and uh, uh, before I, I finish uh, I, I will provide you with the console so uh, that uh, you can download for free and practice what we did in the lesson today and again thank you thank you thank you very much for watching the video and uh, Salaam Alaikum